Hey, welcome back. This is Beard Puma for another uh, Terraria installation. So, yeah, we took on the Aikfu. Uh, I still have another, another eyeball right there. A little suspicious looking guy, so I'm gonna do it again. Uh, as soon as it hits nighttime, of course, so right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and look around, start digging. Let's take a look at the map, see what we got. Yeah, let's go check out the desert biome. Usually some good stuff there, maybe we can find, um, what is it, like sandstorm in a bottle? Here's our pretty little head there. I didn't put up a video yesterday, just kind of spent the day making uh, the banner and the profile picture. Which, since I've never done it before, it took me a really long time, so... But yeah, I'm gonna try to go back to trying to put up a video a day. Uh, not the greatest quality for these, but I am working on a top 5 of my favorite, personal favorite RPGs before the PS2 era. I'm trying to put ones on there that aren't common on most, like, top fives. You'll probably see a couple that you've definitely seen before, but, you know, they're still my personal favorite things that have really turned me into gaming in the first place, made me really excited about it, and passionate, like, this, video games are my life. It's going to take a while, because I still have to do all the editing for it, which is going to be a lot of stuff that I've never tried to do before. So it's, it's going to take a while for me to actually get it to a, a place where I feel comfortable releasing it for uh, its quality. I'm not just trying to pump it out and just get it viewed. I actually want it to be good. I want it to be my first attempt at doing something good at least. So we'll see what happens. But for now, we are playing Terraria. Just taking a, taking a look at the desert. Little uh, biome, like I said before. Ooh, take that. Ah, uh, please. Okay, I, I'm not too cool at it. But yeah. Like I said, it's just one big circle that usually has uh, a lot of places to dig to just lead you to different areas. Usually if I just dig straight down, I'll probably find like another open area. See? Right there, right away. And take care of that. Which is just a pot, but then look below that, there's another one. So yeah, whenever you're in the sand biome, it's really easy to do that. Just dig anywhere, you usually find another room, but usually just pots. It's the big rooms that you're going to find the good stuff, like the chests. So, yeah, just uh, see another drop right here. A little bit bigger. And take care of that line there. Nothing in this one at all, sadly. But a nice easy dig right here. Um... Seeing how far left I can go on the mini map, I can't really see that well, so I'm gonna. Oh, yeah, it looks like I should actually be going this way. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go that way. I'm gonna break through here and make my way over there. Still got the boomerang, which has a really good knockback for these guys. If I can actually hit them. There we go. Ah! 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 Oh my god! Ow! Probably just go on the rails and use that to stay away. Stay away from me. There we go, okay. I'm alive! I didn't die. I'm gonna heal real fast. So we go up here. I'll leave the goblin statue actually. I don't know why. I, there's no reason why I'm leaving it. Just doing it. Uh, I'm not excited about this guy. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's actually the. Uh, Easily just throw it upwards and kill him like that. So, yeah. try to kill this guy real fast. Oh, come on. There we go. Still looking for any potion. I really want the uh, anti grab potions so I can check out for any sort of uh, islands in the sky, really. Try to get a balloon or anything like that, which, as soon as I get one, I'll show you guys. They're awesome. I uh, won't talk about it now because it's exciting, but you, a lot of you probably know, but if you're new to Terraria, balloon's a pretty nice item, as well as the horseshoe. Horseshoe's probably the best thing you can really get. Um, I'm just going to say that one, actually. They're, they're, I'm just going to say. Um, yeah, the balloon just makes you jump higher. The horseshoe makes you not take fall damage. So it's the perfect thing to pair together. You jump higher and you don't, you don't die when you fall far. Which I'm really good at doing. I'm really good at dying as I fall to my death. Kind of redundant. Yes, you know what I mean. 
play Man of Silver here. I really wish I had a clock here. Just let's see what time of day it is. So I do want to do uh, the Eye of Cthulhu one more time. Try to get a little bit more ore from it. I can't really build anything until I do, I'm assuming, until I do the brain. Uh, because I remember the the big worm, Eater of World, I believe. Uh, you had to kill him in order to get like another ingredient to make the stuff. So I'm assuming the same thing has to happen here, just the crimson variant of it. Ah, jeez, they're so fast. There we go. Uh, it's going right through him. There we go, okay. I was gonna die. Kind of got quiet just to focus. Uh, get in there. Okay. Put that up there. Get some more light so we can actually see what's going on here, guys. I'm sorry about that. There we go. All right. Just... There we go. Just gonna make that easier. Oh, it looks like there's some silver right below me, so let's grab that silver. It's doing pretty well with the silver. I mean, you can't you can't really make armor with it, but. It's not bad to have. Uh, we should be switching over to meteorites soon and everything like that, so... Matter of patience, I guess, really, at this point. Leave the silver as well. I'm probably overdoing the silver, really. I don't need it as much as I think I do. Move up here. I still don't have any of those potions. Get my silver, which... I think that's like 10 bars. Well... One more. Well... I mean, it's right there to the left, I can go grab it, but yeah. Oh, sweet. This is what we're looking for right here. I'll take that. The statue, I don't know what it does, but hey, yes. That's great, too. Oh, God. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to this and try to just bounce it off. There we go. There we go. I got him for... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Heal. There we go, okay. No, no, no! <laughs> there we go, okay, we're okay. We're okay. We're fine. We're totally fine. That's just loot all. Oh. I was about to say, I didn't get another brick layer, did I? No, I didn't. Okay. Okay, I'm not even looking at my character, I'm looking at my inventory. It's dying. Let's go ahead and pick that up real fast. Kill him, and then go down. So he's dead, and, uh, hold well. on. Yeah, it's just six straight down from there as well. Check the pods, see if there's anything good in there. Nope, nothing. Literally nothing, yay! Oh. There's another pot. Just another healing potion. How far do we need to start going down or up? Well, not really up, but... More down and left. Or west if you want directions, I don't know. Ah, come on. There we go. I can't dig through fossil. Uh, okay, let's just go up this way. I'm gonna take the keg. I don't know what it's for either. Oh, this is perfect. This is, this, is, this is perfect. I'm unstoppable. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Come on. Come on, come on. Come at me, bro. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Unstoppable. I am the greatest. <laughs> For a second. So I can't do that anymore. Quick, dick! Run, right, dick! Uh, in there. There's nothing in there! Nothing, okay. Down. Oh, there's. What are they called again? Swarmers. Antlion swarmers. Actually, that's not bad. It's just going for the gold pickaxe on the end and just kill them that way. It's working out pretty well for us. I'm doing a lot of damage, but hey, we win. Scoreboard! I'd really like to find another chest. Or a decent potion that I actually need still. There we go, got trapped in the corner there. Oh god. It's okay. That's why you have this. Let's throw that up there. Oh, he's away from me. Oh, no, we're still good on health. I should probably do the goblin army soon too, guys. 
nothing going on still, just kind of going through the ant pile, looking around for anything that could be useful, even though I, I, I found the boots, which... Are they the boots I'm taking? They're Hermes, right? Yeah, okay, I just didn't have enough room to run there. You have to get momentum going, of course. And then you'll start like... I have a lot of these now. See, we're, we're still talking about it, aren't we? I feel like we might as well just do it. There we go. I uh, don't know when it's going to happen. It could be a while, but there'll be a little notification saying that the Goblin Army's coming from blah. And we'll know that they're after us. Go up there, die a few times, and finish it. But the good part is we can actually start combining accessories. As soon as we, uh, just, if, when we defeat the Goblin Army, we can find the Goblin Tinkerer. Sorry. Uh, Goblin Tinkerer, and we can get the bench that lets us actually combine that stuff. Which, you know, it's going to make a lot of these accessories so much better. Way more better. Type of background in the biome. Something else I've never found is like there's a temple or something apparently that you can find in desert biomes. I've never seen one before, but it'd be really cool to see. You know, I'd like to wear a pharaoh hat. I, I saw it once in a picture, in a video. There are pots up there. <laughs> Worm is it's like after us, but not after us? I don't know, it's just not really accurate at getting us. I feel like a lot of the things here are really, really nice to us. Huh, okay. We can't jump that high, so we can just cheese it a little bit. Three easy kills. There it is. Oh, sweet chest right there. So we're gonna drop down. An extractor. Another extractor. Ah, I hear you. I hear you. He, I, he doesn't want to hurt me, which, you know, I'm grateful. He's a nice guy. It's a nice worm. Not all worms want to kill you guys. Some of them are nice. These, these things are made now. Um, traveling merchants here, so we might... Okay, I don't know how I did that, but yeah. We'll go ahead and, uh... I just got on that block. I didn't press jump or anything. But yeah, we'll go ahead and check out the traveling merchant real fast, because it doesn't seem like we're going to find anything here, and it's probably already passed the whole entire day-night cycle without me going to fight the Ayakuru, so I get distracted very easily. Dead. I feel like good about that, so let's go ahead and that noise out of here. Gotta hit that quick stack. There we go. Yeah. Drop some of the statues down there. Do this one as well, which is the Hornet. Put that one on this side. Can you like... No, you can't really change the way they face, can you? But there we go, you know. Throw some torches down between them like I do on those as well. Keep the unit a little bit more uniform there, but for now let's talk to the Mad Mercer. Matt Mercer. Who is actually uh I, I want that. But I don't have enough. No, I need to keep that for sure. How much do I have now? I have exactly ten. Uh, socket, I don't need that. Paint sprayer, I need that too. This it sucks. Crimson cloak. Good vanity item there. <laughs> um, hmm. I'll do extendo group first. I'm gonna stay poor. I really do want this so I can build stuff off camera real fast. Or even on camera faster. Can I swap that right now? Yeah, I can. Let's go ahead and do that for ourselves real fast. There's 20 on there. So we can actually get a pickaxe, but is it really that much better than my current one? Maybe just get the flesh catcher. Might just do that. You know, it's really good to have a nice uh, nice fishing rod. So right now mine is 15. That's 22. Yeah. Uh, 19. 
mind. Yeah, that's what I'm doing first, guys. I, I have to buy that first. It's gonna make a lot of things easier. Uh, artery, that's, that's cool. See, this is all new to me. I've never seen Crimson, so. I'm gonna build that too. I'm kinda wasting the Crimson ore, but I have two of the eyes. I mean, especially with that, I'm gonna be a lot, well, it's gonna be a lot easier to kill. So let's sell that stuff we don't need anymore. Keep that, get rid of that. Chandelier, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put up somewhere right now. How about... Let's do it over here. There we go. Let me try to find one more chandelier to put here. I don't want to make it, I know I can. I, I already have mats and stuff, yeah, but sure. I'd rather not. I like to find them. I still don't understand. Oh well, that's, the, that's what they like to do. Who am I to judge? Alright, well, I'm gonna actually spend a quick second fishing here. Right, there's the stars. Okay, so you can get the worms as well as the stars to go ahead and that right there, the enchanted nightcrawler. So I got three of those now, so I have three. I'm just gonna use those. Don't really need anything else. Grab my fishing rod. Place it right with the hammer. So hit four, I have three. So let's see if I get any crates doing this. I don't know if you do. In this like narrow of a pond, but there we go, I got like a bass. Alright. Kinda feel confident that I might get a crate or two. Which I just want them for quick accessories. I and I realize I can easily save them for hard for hard mode because uh, you can actually get some of the ores that are only in hard mode through the crates so it's a really good idea to have a, a good amount to open up as soon as you get in the hard mode but for now I just kind of want to fish a little bit you know show how it works and plus I never used this rod before that's so pretty much yeah you know once it starts bobbing you just click them on in sometimes it takes longer than others you cast over you want and cast high and apparently fish in the lake up there I got a bass. <laughs> oh, it's always just makes you think of the goofy movie with the perfect cast. Just ah, nostalgia. Hey, do it again. Ah, so close. Yeah, there we go. Nailed it. Come on, catch him. It's it's not catching anything. There we go. Oh wow. That was some good luck. So yeah, there's different types of crates as well. There's the wooden crates, iron crates, uh, golden crates. I think that's the only three I've seen. I wish I knew what these meant. Do you want a goldfish? Is that what you're complaining about? But, yeah, you know. That's the only three that I've seen, and they're... I mean, obviously, the gold's gonna be better than the iron. Iron's better than the wood. It's just a tier system, like everything is, of course, in this game. Oh, I have no more. I'm all out of ammo there. Ammo. Yeah, bait. So we're going to go to move on. It's starting to get nighttime. Let's go to make our way over to our little little base over here. And we got a much better bow, so we can easily destroy all the things. Make our way up. I actually, I got a little bit of time, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to open it. Ow. <laughs> Yeah, see? The wear can run super fast, you know? Just in case you don't have that already, like I already have that. That's fine, that's fine. We can we can still keep it. <laughs> but I wanted to come back, grab some potions, like iron skin, swiftness, sort of archery, archery potion. Uh, I think that's all I really need. Don't need gills, don't need night. I'll use night ale, it it, it'll help brighten the screen a little bit. You know, let's all see. Even though there will be lots of fire. It's still not a bad idea to have though. Uh, shine potion, sure. Just to, just, yeah. Screw it. Seems like I'm pretty well stocked there, so let's make our way back that way. Hopefully we can fight him fast enough. Do two in one night. Got a much better weapon. 
is 10 more damage, so should be in our favor. Let's jump up again. Don't think it's quite late enough, but there's one way to find out, and that's this way. Nope, oh, it's, it's not late enough. So, let's go ahead and uh, just gonna cut to night, well, further in the nighttime where I can use that. So, be right back. Alright, so we are back. Let's see if it works. There we go. For you two? Nah, we can only do one. That'd been cool. That'd have been fun to do. A little challenge there. Alright, so for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and try to zoom the camera in a little bit. See if it can help us see. I say that without knowing if I actually can do that at the moment. Because I'm doing my uh, commentary as I play. That's why I suck. Because it's hard to play and try to say you know, things that actually make a little bit of sense. Really not good at that either. While I'm fighting bosses like this. Uh, it's, this is actually one of the easier bosses. It's going to be like when I'm fighting Skeletron Prime. And all of them where they have so much things. And just the hard mode, bo hard mode bosses. Uh, Eye of Flesh. Wall of Flesh. Sorry. See? See? Can't can't say coherent things. Eye of Cthulhu, not Eye of Flesh. But the Wall of Cthulhu. <laughs> Wall of Cthulhu, God! Ah. <sighs> Alright, well I'm just gonna... There we go, I think that's the time I needed. This is the Eye of Cthulhu. I'm speaking of the Wall of Flesh. That I will have a really hard time talking and fighting. Unless, of course, I have really good items, which... It's not hard to get them. If you be patient and taking your time getting there, but that's not what this is about. This playthrough is all about just showing progression of the game. And I kind of failed at that in the first couple episodes. I took too long to really get anything done, so... Right now we're just... I recommend fighting Guy a few times, uh, just to get as much of the... Well, either Demonite or Crimtainor, depending on what kind of world you're in. I keep forgetting about my platforms and how I can drop down while I'm talking, but... I recommend it a few times just so you can get the materials to make the, all the armor and everything. Uh, the Brandy Cthulhu, of course, is going to be the Crimson variation of the Eater of Worlds, where you're going to be getting the Crumbling Ball, but they're like, they look like little orbs that you use those to build the armor with, which makes that really easy. As soon as the Meteor lands, we're going to go throw some dynamite at that bad boy, try to pick as much of that up as possible, make the Meteor armor, the Meteor sword, uh, Meteor, Meteor gun, rather, sorry. Which. I said this before, but paired together, there we go. Paired together, it doesn't take any magic to fire the laser, so you just endlessly fire it, and everything dies. Uh, until, of course, everything becomes harder. But it's a great weapon to have, especially at starter. It's really, really easy to get. Uh, kind of like if I went to the jungle, I could easily get the jungle yo yo, which is very powerful. But I'm waiting on that. I'd rather just kind of showcase some regular items. Um, I probably won't do an all yo-yo playthrough just because well, I really enjoyed watching one that I saw on another YouTuber's channel and if I wanted to do one I feel like I should ask permission because I enjoyed it so much from him. I don't know, I feel like I, feel like I owe him that. I kinda did that already with a game that I played that I never heard of until another YouTuber was talking about it. I kinda sent him a message yesterday asking if I could use that video game in one of my top fives as one of my favorites. But, I don't know, we'll see what he says. If not, that's fine. You know, that's fine. He turned me on to it, he has the right to say no. And I'll actually respect his wishes, even though I don't necessarily need him to say it, you know, but... I will respect my peers, the people I look up to that I watch and try to learn from. I still never use my buffs, did I? There we go. There we go. That should make that a little easier. There we go. Yeah, I have yo-yo paper was really fun. I never really used a lot of yo-yos until I got really further and I got the yellets. And that thing just destroys all the things, especially when you have the set up for the yo-yos. Like the combined stuff. I'm so inaccurate right now. I'm sorry, this is taking a lot longer than it should. But, uh, Focus a little bit more on this instead of looking to the side and talking. Alright, so we got a lot more crimp tank. Got some binox, huh? I don't just went held or I don't understand. So increase my view, I don't Do I use that somehow? Do I put it 
hit on something? I'm a, I I don't know the difference. I must be missing something. I'll, I'll have to look that up and find out exactly why it exists. <laughs> let's go ahead and hit that quick stack. Uh, Demon Idor, we need to go ahead and smell that down real quick. Should be at the bottom. Go ahead and use this tool right here. Makes it a lot faster. Hold the right mouse down and boom. Perfect. We don't need any of this stuff. We kind of got everything we wanted from that. Got the bow. Uh, butcher. That just sounds cool, actually. <laughs> Bloodlust Cluster. Axe Power. I'm assuming for the pickaxe we need to go ahead and take on the brain, huh? So what that means is... Well, we're still waiting for the Goblin Armor to show up as well. Uh, we still have the Meteor that we're hoping to find. But we do have the Crimson that we have to explore to find those... I think they're orbs. Just kind of speaking in the way that uh, the corruption goes. Wow. So we'll find out. I mean, I'm pretty sure I need bombs either way. Do I have bombs? Ah, no, I don't. I have bomb fish. Demolitionist over here. There he is, gimmit. Oh, I missed that jump. Boom! I'm on his head. Okay. That's how it works. Then by do these Well Yeah, actually that's cool. Yep, well troll sticky bombs. I'm happy with that. Sixteen regulars. You can make sticky a lot of things, really. Sticky uh, glow sticks as well. Instead of making them just like kinda of fall. Which I like doing. I actually like the anime <laughs> not the animation, but just why I like watching them go all the way down and shining. On everything that's there. Like that. Hey, look! I died there. Uh, altars are going to be really, really good to destroy later. When we get into hell mode, I'll show you guys that when we get there. I'll just these right here. So they're kind of like orbs. They look like hearts, rather. So yeah. Mm, let me go ahead and do it like this. So we'll stick... Oh, well, that should still work on two of them. So with that, you also get some really good loot. That didn't work. I was hoping you were- Oh god, I'm, st I'm stuck on it! <laughs> no! Stop! Everything is mad. There we go. That was horrible. Go away. I'm okay now. I'm okay. I don't even know what I got to do. All I know is, I panicked. I panicked and did not even almost kill anything. Quick, the Undertaker. Is this actually- So this is a gun. Awesome. So with this gun, we should actually get the- that guy who has guns. We'll find out when it comes. So I can just look st really, really, really stupid right now. Until it comes again. Uh, it's a jagged panic necklace. So that kind of describes exactly what I just did. So I feel like I have to wear this because I panicked and started placing platforms like a G. Area. Let's. Oh, the arms dealer. How could I not think of arms dealer? Ah. I'm gonna go cry myself to sleep after I end this episode. Uh, after I edit it and post it. But yeah. I hate me right now. So, this is pretty good. I'm out of flares. No, I'm not. Use that now. No, go away. Yes. Fish him to death. Oh. Yeah, I'm out of here. Bye. Run around oh, okay. Well. With that death, we will end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll see you next time.